Welcome back to Robin at Archery Videos. Today we're going to look at a brand new product which I've been developing over a number of years and I use a very similar design myself. Here you can see it on the screen and it's the Robin Hood Archery Spine Tester. So without further ado, let's take a look at it and get into the video. Once you receive your RHA spine tester, it needs screwing together. And there's three parts and they're put together with six screws. It couldn't be easier and it even comes with instructions. Once it's in one piece, you can mount it onto a wall nice and horizontally and there's two screw mounting points for that. Again, really, really simple. There are two holes at each end for screwing in these hooks which will hold your arrow shaft in place whilst it's being tested. And there are two holes. The inner holes are set at 26 inches and that's for testing wooden arrows with a two pound weight. The outer holes are set at 28 inches and that's for testing carbon or aluminium arrows but that will be with a 1.94 pound weight and you can actually adjust this by taking 13 ball bearings out to give you your 1.94 pounds. Very very simple again. So let's move on to how we actually measure the deflection or the spine of an arrow or an arrow shaft. Well the first thing we need to do is to put on our digital dial gauge. I keep mine in the protective case. We just take it out and it slips in between these, this groove here and it's held in place via a magnet. Couldn't be easier. And we can see the indicator of the dial gauge moves up and down with the deflection of the shaft. So we next take our wooden shaft and place it onto the spine tester. But with wooden shafts, you have to make sure that the grain is in the correct orientation. And wooden shafts, that means the grain needs to be vertical. I'll pop a picture up on the screen whilst I'm doing this one so you guys can see exactly what I mean by that. There we are. And wooden shafts are always, always measured with the grain vertically. So what we do then, we turn on our digital dial gauge and we zero it. The on off button is in the middle, the zero button is on the right hand side, so we'll just zero it. And at the moment it's showing 0, 0.00 millimetres. We then take our two pound weight and we hang that as close to the indicator of the dial gauge as we can. Make sure it's hanging free and we get a reading on the dial gauge. At the moment it's showing 14.90 millimetres. So we come to our AMO chart which will be provided for you. 14.9 millimetres gives us a reading of between 45 and 44 pounds. Okay, so you just write that up on the shaft and move on to the next one. Very, very simply, just move that out of the way like that and bring in the next one. Could not be easier. So that's the Robin Hood Archery Spine Tester. I've tried to make it as simple and robust and easy to use as possible. Because it's a breakdown design, there's reasonable shipping costs. It's very light as well for that purpose. Once it's screwed into place, it is absolutely rock solid. I mean, that's not going to move anywhere. I suppose if anybody wanted to mount it on a desk, that would be possible as well with some kind of foot uh, construction. Uh, maybe something I'll look at in the future. Maybe you can let me know in the comments down below whether that could be something you'd be interested in. But I find wall mounted, or in this case cupboard mounted, works very, very well. That's how I use mine all the time in the office. Um, you, can, you can actually take this off. You don't have to permanently leave it on the wall. It's only two screws. You can hang it up somewhere. I wouldn't take this these three pieces apart, just leave it now as one unit and undo the two screws, store it away until next time. It's as simple as that. But I always make sure that my dial gauge is turned off. There's a battery in here which is replaceable, but make sure it's turned off. 
because that is obviously quite a fine instrument. So there we go. I hope you enjoy the product. I hope you liked the video. Please click on the like and subscribe if you did. And uh, yeah, I'll leave a link in the comments to the web shop as well if you're interested in purchasing the RHA Spine Tester. Catch you guys next time.